Alright, in this video we're checking out the Dam Fast FPV Toothpick Frame Kit. As you can see here, it's already built out. Um, the guy at, at Dam Fast FPV went ahead and sent me a full build, which really helps out a lot in terms of getting a review out quickly, so I don't have to actually build it myself. So it saves a lot of time, thank you very much for that. And uh, pretty interesting components that he picked here. He's got 3 inch propellers, and they are pretty close together. Let's see. Um, I think it's 118 millimeters motor to motor. It's a very unique frame. You can see here it comes in two parts, and the back arms are offset from the front arms. So, and the basically all you get are it's $12.99, very inexpensive. You get your screws and all your mounting hardware, and you get the two pieces of carbon which comprise the toothpick frame, three millimeters thick, and you connect them here in the center and. You would think that this is perhaps a weak point and maybe uh, somewhere it would probably break, but it's actually fairly stiff and I think it's going to be pretty robust because it is a steel screw that's going through two of those sides and plus you have the steel screws on the front and the back as well. I mean, I did try and twist this and it's it's very, very stiff. I, mean, I, can't, I can't move this at all. Um, is this three millimeter carbon so and it's very skinny so it's more likely it's going to break at the arm versus over here at the joint but very unique design um, with the back arms a little bit higher than the front arms a little bit offset like that you get a little bit less turbulent air in the back than in the front that's sort of how it goes and he's got some extra weight on here you probably have seen uh, these little cones are called arrow cones Kind of different, and it's, it's there's actually an LED kit in here, so you see some LED wires that go to the inside. There's some LEDs inside there that light this up. So let me just uh, I don't know if it's going to show up on camera here with the bright lights, but um, it's, it's what it looks like. And in the dark, it looks a little bit more dramatic than this under under bright lights. So we have an LED there that lights up this green TPU, and then this purple TPU. Looks pretty cool. Now supposedly this makes it more aerodynamic in terms of airflow and stuff but I don't know about that. Um, I think you're going to have that you're only going to achieve that sort of aerodynamic efficiency if you're going almost vertical in which case you're looking at the ground. So more when you're going forward like this you're, you're getting a lot of drag coming off this way. So it's not necessarily I think for aerodynamic efficiency but it's just kind of for looks and also it's a landing um, like landing gear. The battery goes in here. This fits a, a 520 GMB 2S. I think a, like more, most 450 like stick style batteries will fit into this tray here. Uh, it's this TPU and it holds the battery fine. No ejections. The, you know the parts you can go in here you can go either with a whoop stack here or a 16 by 16 sack. So you can see he's using the 16 by 16 stack. This is an, I think it's an iFlight nano stack with the uh, all in one, uh, no, sorry, that's not an all in one, it's a 420 SC, you got a flight controller and video transmitter. You know, parts don't necessarily matter so much. I think he's got a recommended list on his website, link down in the description. But, uh, you know, obviously there's a lot of different ways you can build up these toothpicks, and, you know, you have your, this is like a big B Brain V2, all of these parts, the LED, the arrow cones, the, the frame, all these parts are available at his website. So you can build it like this, or you could um, build it. Anyway, you, you know you see fit. Okay, so here's how much this build weighs. And if obviously, everyone's build is going to be a little bit different, so keep that in mind. 68.4 grams. Plus, this is the battery I used. Um, and the total comes to 90 grams with the battery. And if you want to see how much the frame weighs, just the, just the carbon pieces, it weighs 6.3 grams. And again, here is a look at the carbon. I believe he does cut it himself. I'm not 100% sure on that, but it's pretty nice. And it looks like it's cut correctly. You have uh, many different options for your motors. Either the three-hole pattern or the four-hole pattern will work. And this is, this is a kind of interesting uh, layout here on the arm. And you got this tapered here, so it should be fairly robust. I wish there was a little bit more motor protection on this one. You can see if you crash into anything here, your motor is exposed. So, you know, perhaps a little thing sticking at the front that's pretty typical that usually is going to be sufficient doesn't add a lot of weight uh, but it is three millimeter thick 
carbon so it should hold up pretty well in a lot of situations. Yeah, so overall I think it's a pretty nice design. Um, a little bit different from your typical toothpick style frames out there. I like the skinny arms and the thick 3mm carbon. I do, I do feel like the skinnier arms do have a little bit of uh, less air resistance. So, uh, you know, that might be anecdotal, but I, <laughs> I think it does the, help it cut through the air, especially if you're on some smaller motors like this one here. If you have bigger motors, it's not going to matter as much, but maybe on the smaller motors like 1103s, 1102s maybe. Also, the um, if you want, depends on what prop you're using. So obviously this frame you can go with a smaller 65 millimeter prop as well if you want. And yeah, three millimeters or three three inch props are no problem on this frame here. Anyway, so here's the flight footage, and I've narrated the flight as usual. This flight pretty good, I think. And uh, you know, if you get this for your build, obviously how it flies is going to depend on more the components you're choosing versus the frame. I mean, the frame does help, but in the end, you know, I think the motors and the ECs are going to matter more in terms of flight performance. But just to give you an idea of at least uh, if you decide to build it like this, this is how it would fly. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. All right, so really dreary day here. <laughs> Terrible lighting, but uh, let's see how this thing flies. So there must be a lot of dust or something inside the camera sensor. Tune's pretty good in this. So I think the uh, RSSI numbers are not correct. Yeah, the tune's pretty good. I think this camera is the B-Brain camera, if I'm not mistaken. Those work pretty good indoors, but not, not so great outdoors. Of course, you'll probably do your own custom build. So, yeah, if, if, if it's not obvious, this is 2S. I'm running a 2S 520G and B. Three inch propeller. Flies flying real nice, real nice. It's just the lighting conditions today are horrible. I need to adjust the rates. I think I left the rates that he sent. A little bit too much for me. So this is an 1104 motor, I believe. 9500 kV. Pretty good fly time for the high kV. Normally these 3 inch propellers don't like 1104 motors. I'm surprised at how well it's flying on the 3 inch propeller. And I've got a low battery warning. So that's the end of the flight. 3 minutes. It's about what I expected. It's a high, pretty high kV motor. I think it's like 9500 kV. So. Yeah, not bad. I like it. I'll have to uh, have another one of these frames. I'll have to build it up and see um how it performs in a different setup different motor perhaps like a thing like a 1204 1303 three inch setup so stay tuned for more videos in this frame talk to you guys later